I've got the new Razorblade Stealth here, which only goes up to Nvidia MX150 graphics. This does allow it to play less demanding games, but how much of an improvement can we get by attaching an Nvidia RTX 2080 Ti graphics card? Let's find out. This video is mostly just for fun. I've got the newest Razorblade Stealth here for review, and I have a 2080 Ti, and was curious to see how they'd go together using an external GPU enclosure. The enclosure that I'm using is the Mantis Venus, which I've previously covered in another video. Basically, you plug in your graphics card, then connect the enclosure to a laptop using Thunderbolt 3. My enclosure also provides enough power to charge the Blade Stealth over Thunderbolt, so I literally just need a single cable for this setup. The Razorblade Stealth that I'm testing has an Intel i7-8565U Whiskey Lake CPU, so 4 cores, 8 threads, with pretty high boost clock speeds. There's 16GB of LPDDR3 memory running at 2133MHz in dual channel, and of course the Nvidia MX150 graphics. So it's capable of playing less demanding games like Overwatch, CSGO, Fortnite, or Dota 2 without many issues. While more graphically intensive games are just not possible unless we use external graphics. Anyway, let's get into the benchmarks and see how these games run. Fortnite was tested using the same replay, and at 1080p we can see that the MX150 graphics in the Blade are giving us acceptable results at low settings, and Medium ran well enough too, shown by the orange and red bars. If we run the 2080 Ti through the laptop's own display, shown in the green bars, we get a massive performance boost and then even further gains when connecting to an external display plugged into the 2080 Ti, shown in blue. This is because when using the laptop's own display, there's more overhead involved. The Thunderbolt bandwidth needs to be used to send the display signal back to the laptop, whereas this is not required with an external display. For this reason, I've only tested with the external display for the rest of the games for best performance. At 1440p, Fortnite was still seeing very good performance. It still ran quite well, even at epic settings, with this higher resolution on our external monitor with the 2080 Ti. Even 4K was playable at most setting levels, something that the MX150 has no chance of doing. CSGO was tested with the Uletical benchmark, and again we've got the built-in MX150 graphics in orange and red, and the 2080 Ti with the external screen for best performance shown in the blue bars. There's a massive difference at 1080p, even the 1% low from the 2080 Ti is above the average frame rates of the MX150. Stepping up to 1440p, the 2080 Ti still provided very high frame rates for this test, and was easily playable. And then similar at 4K. Still very high frame rates in this test, with over 300 FPS still possible at low settings. Overwatch was tested in the practice range, so that I can perform the same test run. And once again, the external 2080 Ti is giving us massive performance improvements. Note the low 1% low performance at epic settings though. With these settings, there was noticeable stuttering while playing. I'm not exactly sure what the issue was. The CPU was at 100% utilization even at the lower settings too. At 1440p, this issue was seen between epic and high settings, as identified by the poor 1% low results. The average frame rates are still high, but again, this did cause noticeable stuttering while playing. When testing with 4K, the same thing was seen. Still nice average frame rates, but poor 1% lows make the higher settings basically unplayable, illustrating that adding external graphics will not be a silver bullet for all games as other components will start to limit us depending on the laptop you use. Dota 2 was only tested at 1080p, and is an example of a test that's more CPU bound. Even with the 2080 Ti installed, I was often seeing 100% CPU utilization, indicating a CPU bottleneck. This explains why we're seeing much less of a performance difference in this test between the built-in MX150 and external 2080 Ti graphics. Although the gap does widen as we use higher settings, which are more graphically intensive. Seeing the CPU pegged at 100% utilization was pretty common, and it was running with a 15 watt TDP most of the time, and expected based on the high-end graphics that I'm using. But even so, we are able to get a massive performance improvement by attaching the 2080 Ti to the Razorblade Stealth over Thunderbolt 3. Is this solution practical? No, not really. Considering a typical external GPU enclosure goes for around 200 to 300 US dollars, while the 2080 Ti is around 1300 US dollars. And that combined cost is about as much as the entire laptop that I'm testing with, 
without even including an external display. You can find updated pricing in the description. If you've got money to burn and want a super portable laptop to connect up to your high powered graphics at home then it may make sense. But realistically, I only see that working if you just want to use the same machine and have access to the same Windows installation. Because you could definitely also just have a pretty capable gaming PC at home for that money too. Making this a pretty niche solution. Either way, it was still fun to test out what we can get out of a thin and light razor blade stealth and top end 2080 Ti graphics. Do you think we'll ever see the 2080 Ti inside a laptop? Or will an external GPU enclosure be the only option? Personally, I doubt it, given we never had the 1080 Ti in a laptop. But I did just get a 9900K laptop, so hey, maybe anything's possible. As always, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for future tech videos like this one.